I think for me, I've always been someone that has had some sort of element of, I wouldn't say necessarily giving back, but I, my mom, ever since I was younger, has just instilled it in me on, you know, just taking care of people around you. And I, I don't, I don't know. I think mental health and sharing my story has really opened the doors to, to helping other people. And that's all I really want to do. I mean, I have this platform and I want to use it for good. I know people who struggle with either mental health or with it chronic illness and I think they struggle with like wanting to be open and vulnerable about it but also not wanting it to be their identity yeah, is worse I mean I think it's scary when you think you have a label put over you but I think once I found out that I had bipolar I was actually free because I felt like I could understand it and it's gonna take time and maybe that's something you keep personal for a while but don't don't forget about taking care of yourself I really hope so. I'm kind of nervous because it is my first time throwing something and I hate asking people for <laughs> money. Oh, we adore each other. And so, was she, did she like well, I adore her, and she pretends to like me. It, it works out. Did she like call in a favor and say, like, how does daddy come in? Well, I mean, we, we've discussed this fund, you know, often, especially in the last year. And so, uh, I think she knew to ask me, I would jump at it. Absolutely. Oh yeah. No, no. We're, we we really the three of us bonded very beautifully. Yeah! I mean, she had said, like, oh, we'll talk about it at some point. I'm like, okay. But then I started filming Grownish, and everything was going great. And then she just kind of texted me one day, like, so um, the news got a hold of our story. They're dropping the story tomorrow, so I'm going to post before because I want us to tell it. And I was like, uh, 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 okay, okay, because I had told my people, my friends at work, that I was a kidney donor because I had to pee all the time and I was just fatigued. And um, I said I donated to my sister. So I was like, so I lied, guys. Um, what's going on? And then I remember even after the news broke, Sal called me. She FaceTimed me. She goes, are you okay? And I had a hoodie on. I was like, I'm not used to this shit. I don't want this shit. What the hell? I just want to go to work. Bother me. It is my time. Uh, I love it also. I'm so excited to watch Golden Bachelor. Why is this so cute? And all the women are so cute. But this time, like, when they leave, I Every relationship has its ups and downs. I don't know any relationship that's perfect. I went a year recently without talking to my own mother. My own mother, who birthed me. So, yeah, we had our stuff. What happened? I'm very private. That's between us, and I'd rather keep it between us. But, like, friendships? It doesn't matter, and I don't want to discourage anyone from donating because that's one of the things that really bothered me. I'm like, it's not about that. When you're giving a donation, let's say to St. Jude, you're not going to call St. Jude and be like, what did you do with my one dollar? You know, you gave it up, and you have to do your own thing. And I had to grow, and she had to grow, and some of the best relationships I know took some time apart, and they came back together, and they were better than ever. So, if you're having a bad day, what is one thing that you can do to cheer? Is it jump in? Oh my gosh, watch TV. <laughs> That's my new one lately. That's so cute.